Now, what we're going to discuss in this video are how the brushes and the colors work in OpenTunes. Now, you can get a reasonable brush to draw with if you're trying to do roughs for animation. Um, you are not, however, going to be doing any of your backgrounds in OpenTunes. The rest of brushes are simply not advanced enough for that. But you can get a decent raster brush to do roughs with, and the vector brushes are reasonably good. The types of brushes you get depend on the level on which you're working in. So we are going to create three different levels to examine the types of brushes you get in them. The first one is going to be a Toons vector level. The second one is going to be a Toons raster level. third one is just going to be a normal raster level. We'll start off with a vector line. We can change the pressure sensitivity with the brush size. We can also just look and feel with the mite range. So if we change those, we should get sharper corners. Um, then we have a few tools for the vector lines. The vector tools are these ones over here. What we have first is we have the control point editor, which will allow you to edit the curve directly. We have the pinch tool, which will give you a more organic way of editing the curve. We have the pump tool which will allow you to determine the thickness of the line. We have the magnet tool which will allow you to distort the line. The bend tool will allow you to bend components like that. Um, the iron tool will smooth out the lines. It's not particularly strong smoothing, but it will smooth it out. And then we can also use the knife tool to cut the line up. So that's now. Now, what will be confusing for some people is the way the colors work. Uh, the colors work on a palette system. The reason they work like this is with animation productions, you need to be very strict on the type of colors you're working with. Um, and colors need to be consistent throughout the entire production and most of the colors and the coloring system in tunes are designed for work on the animated characters not on things like backgrounds so what you'll find is we have our style editor over here 
just going to set it so that I can have a more straightforward way of looking at it. And if you change colors and draw, you will see that nothing happens. The reason is, is that all colors will actually be controlled not through this menu, but through the level palette. The first option on the level palette is a transparent option, and this option cannot be changed. Um, and then you will have black as standard, um, which you can of course modify if you choose. To modify it you can change it and you can press apply, and then it will apply those changes to any strokes made using that brush. Um, if we want to have another color, we have to add a, another item to our palette and we can basically edit it through the style editor over here or we can have the style editor open here and we can edit that palette if we click on the auto apply button our changes will automatically happen in real time rather than having to apply ourselves. If we now have that we then have a stroke in that color and what you would do is basically you would set out a palette for the entire character what you're doing and then that palette would say consistent throughout the entire production. Um, other things which you can do with vector strokes is vector strokes have presets which they can use. So what we have is we have textures which will allow you to draw. Most of these are bitmap drawings. All of these are located in the libraries folder under the OpenTunes 1.0 stuff directory. They should actually be located as part of the project root and therefore should be independent to each project. Um, but you can use various bitmap images to determine what your stroke will look like. Then we have our special brushes which use a variety of either OpenTunes vector drawings or bitmap files to determine what they will look like. Um, then we have the custom brushes. Also can use a variety of different brushes as to what they will look like. And we have the vector brushes which will be based purely on Toon's vector drawing styles. Then we have the fill tool. We place a fill, it will fill the area and the fill tool will expand with the area until the area is opened. Um, there are tools to close off areas. For example, we have the tape tool over here, which can be set to close between points, or if you want to, you can choose an endpoint to a line or a line to a line and close off areas. Um, now, the fill tool has one major point of difficulty, and that would be removing a fill. There is no obvious way of doing this. You cannot use an eraser to delete it and there is no option to remove fills from under the fill tool itself. Um, the fill also does not 
exist as an object by itself. Um, it is linked to the lines. If you break a line, it will very often remove the fill, but not always. Um, so the closest you can get to removing a fill is to fill it with a transparent color. Um, unfortunately, I cannot find any other way of removing a fill, um, but filling with a transparent color will get rid of it to a certain degree. Our next level is the Tunes Raster level. Now the Tunes Raster level will give us a brush which we can set, look and feel of how hard the brush will look and give it softer edges but it is very very straightforward brush setting um, and it is aimed mainly at inking and painting. Um, to show one of the problems with the rest level is if I ha add transparency and you will see that um, it is not cumulative. It will always keep thing, keep brushes at the same level at the same color. No matter what you do you will get the same color out of the brush. So you will generally use this if you want to ink and paint with a rest of brush settings instead of with the vector settings. The third type of level is the raster level. And the raster level is what I would generally use if I wanted to draw with. Um, what you'll see with the options here um, we'll, is that we have got the brush width but we also have opacity options here, here which will allow us to adjust our opacity based on brush stroke um, and base our opacity ba based on pressure which will give you a far more organic line and generally if you wanted to sketch, this is the brush and level I would use to rough out characters. So if we were to just go here, just give ourselves a pretty standard setting. we would get a far more organic line to draw with and it would be far more easy to rough out a character with this type of brush. Um, so this is generally what the layer I would recommend if you were to want to do traditional animation on a purely digital pipeline I would do all your roughs on a standard raster layer and not on a to uh, tunes vector or tunes raster layer 